Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of UC Tech Chat. I'm Julie Webb and we have Brian Ferguson with us again today. Hello. Hello. And we're going to be talking about new phone system training. So our viewers have been watching, they've done a lot of research and they've made smart choices and have purchased a new phone system. Great. Yes. It's fantastic. It is. Very exciting for them and their employees. So what advice would you give these companies as they are rolling out the new phone system to their, their staff? So this is an extremely important time for a company with a new phone system. They've made this large investment and they want to make sure they utilize it as best as they can. And the most important part of that is to make sure that the um, administration staff and the users are properly trained. And there are kind of three steps that every company should do to make sure that that training happens. One is they need to have train the trainer training which is an administrator needs to be trained from the person that they bought it or the vendor they bought it from on how to use these, the advanced features of the system, the administrative features. Then you need to have group trainings that talk about the basics of the system. Um, and then the last thing is to kind of slowly roll out advanced and new features down the road. So why is train the trainer such an important step in the process? Yeah, so train the trainer is extremely important because um, it allows you to have somebody internal inside the company to, to be an expert of the system as a go-to person. And so you don't have to rely on the person that you bought it from or the vendor that you bought it from for that information because, quite frankly, that information can cost you money. Vendors and resellers may charge training hours to make sure that, that you know, those... Um, those tools are taught. So if you have somebody that knows it internally, you don't have to pay those down the road. And next you talked about training for the basics. How do these need to work? So the classes are very important and you want to make sure that you have groups of people. Um, you can do it by department or just different groups that get together and talk about the basics, how to make calls, transfer calls, all the basic things that people used to do on their old phone system. You want to make sure that people are comfortable with those features. And so they're, they're not missing a beat. They're not frustrated with the new system. They can do everything they could do before. Perfect. Well, and your last step was to slowly introduce new features. Mm -hmm. Why should companies do this slowly? Yeah, so you don't want to overwhelm people. New, new phone systems have tons and tons of great features that allow them to be more productive and all kinds of different things. But you don't want to pour it on employees because it can becomes too much. So it's good to introduce them slowly, give them one at a time, maybe once a week. Um, both the new features that are available and then advanced features. Things like mobile applications and collaboration tools. Sometimes those take a little more training and you need to have a separate class or one-on-one -on -one training for those types of things. Well, perfect. These have been really super helpful tips today. Okay. So thank you for joining us and we will see you next time for another edition of UC Tech Chats.